His orbit gives him a 9.2 nautical uh, mile. Earth rise and it's got to be magnificent. Raj, we copy. Right, sir, I'll fulfill Judge Smith's. But there's enough folders around here to fill up Galveston Bay, too. He's copying, Tom. Their orbit. The only trouble is, uh, uh, we're stripping lots of film for him. Uh, spacecraft's looking good, and there are no problems, uh, Charlie, except it'd be nice to be around here more often. Uh, Roger, we copy. Uh, you're looking, all your systems are looking good to us. Uh, did you get your dips pressure back over? Dips is the... negative, but the dip burn uh, was uh, smoothed out very smooth, uh, very well when we took the throttle up. Uh, Roger, we got a good dips uh, is a descent propulsion hearing, system. Uh, the dips is go for phasing. Dips is go for staging for their separation, which will come on their next orbit of the moon at about this point, a little later, about two hours from now. Their orbit, according to their computer readout, which they just gave to the ground, would put them 11 miles above the moon's surface, a little bit higher than uh, had been planned, which would mean they did not break quite as much by a few feet per second as they had planned. But that is a very small error, certainly, with everything else going so beautifully. They're moving at about 3,700 miles an hour now and are plunging down toward the Earth's surface. The impression to them must be of very rapidly closing with the moon. They get to their lowest point just 14 minutes from now. Snoop, uh, Houston, there'll be no update on the phasing pad. Uh, everything's looking really good. Okay, good. We'll be picking up our landing radar test and uh, taking pictures here. And it's a uh, fantastic sight. That's John Stafford, of course. Tom Stafford. You do have different shades of browns and grays here. In light of the, vul the vulcanism, there's also a pure white near the edge, and the bottom is black large uh, boulders that are black and black and gray. Roger, sir, we copy. Man has never been so close to the moon. Few men, of course, have been to the moon. But in two flights, this is the closest. Will remain such until over the man lands there, now. perhaps in July. here in which they will be in touch with the earth before they disappear on the far side again. During this time they will reach that low point. They will get that good look at the landing site and then a few minutes after that at 547 they will fire that descent propulsion system engine again this time to speed them up so that they will go into a high orbit 224 miles out on the far side of the moon next time. Houston, uh, can you see them down there among the bowlers? Over. I saw them about 14 miles, but then I turned this thing over to uh, the CMC to let it do an auto maneuver and it lost them. Right. John Young from Charlie I'm tracking them just manually. Uh, I don't see him anymore. I'm going to let it update it with a little radar, a little range, and see if that brings it in. Roger, Charlie Brown. We copy, Al. In other words, John Young's going to use his radar and his computers to get aligned with the uh, lunar module and then see if he can see them out the window again. It must be very hard to see uh, down there against the moon and at the distance that they are apart at this time. John Young, 69 miles high. And they, at this point, uh, must be around. Hello, Houston, this is Snoop. It looks like this landing radar is doing real good. Uh, Roger, 
Roger, Snoop. Uh, we roger that. Over. That's one of the main tests of this flight, as to whether that landing radar does work well. You see the landing gear deployed there. And uh, straight up ahead, you can see we're going to go from the highlands over into the bar area. In other words, they're just passing over the uh, last range of the of the large uh, craters, mountains, into the Mare Tranquility, Sea of Tranquility. Right, Snoop, over. We're inclined to call it Mare Tranquilitatis. It's Mare by the uh, Earthmen's lingo, and properly so, I would assume. Sea of Tranquility, one of the large, reasonably flat areas, almost desert-like areas, broken by just a few of these craters, pits, that have come either from volcanic action or from meteorite uh, impact. The landing area is at the far end of the uh, Sea of Tranquility, uh, giving them a chance to swoop over the comparatively flat areas to make their landing on Apollo 11. At 50,000 feet, they are well above the highest ranges of the, the mountains and crater rims of the moon's surface. And if all goes well, should be in no danger of impacting any of them, crashing into them. Houston, I got the Aston batteries connected at this time. Roger, we see that. Uh, thanks, uh, Snoop. Over. Snoopy. There were so many things to do in such a short time. Gene Cernan reporting that they're pretty Snoopy busy. Coming up on 70 degrees east longitude now. Uh, Snoop, uh, Houston, your Aston batteries look good. Out. They're just about now over an area called the Mare Spumans. Over to their right is the large Mare Crisium, and over to the left, the huge crater Langrenus, which we got a good picture of last night in their first television transmission. We do not have television on this pass. The command pilot, John Young. John Young, the command pilot, is too busy for television at this time. Hey, Snoop, Air Force guys don't talk that way. Well, I just signed up for that one. Okay, we're coming right over to the edge of the barrier. Uh, really smooth out here. Alright, uh, so we have you. Uh, should be approaching uh, San Tarantius anytime soon. Roger. Okay, Houston, I got him in the optic. No? Hey, great show. Fantastic. Hey, great show, Charlie Brown. My golly, John Young was able to pick him up again. He's looking at them, eyeballing them. You heard uh, Mission Control tell them they're just approaching the Sea of Tarantius now, one of the smaller areas, just before the Sea of Tranquility. We can tell that this area is definitely lower than that highland area. This is a whole general area. Okay, uh, Snoop.
loop. Uh, could you, could you coming up on uh, expected uh, surface washout? Uh, could you uh, comment on that? Over. Well, their onboard computer showed that. Uh, 10.58 miles, or 55,440 feet would be their low point. A backup computer calculates it at 9.89 miles, which is almost precisely on their path uh, as predicted. I bet it looks like they're really hauling the mail. Yep, yeah, that's right. 